Hello guys, so if you can't tell by my voice, I'm a little bit sick. I was just recently at Aquashella Dallas and someone went while they were sick and got me and a bunch of others sick, but it's fine. Um, anyways, I basically want to do like a little haul video today. You can see I have some like products laid out here. I got a few like natural products like wood and rocks and plants and stuff. It's nothing too exciting, but I know a lot of you guys do like a lot of this naturalistic stuff. So I thought I would do a little in detail video and show you every piece that I got. I thought that might be interesting to some of you so let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything that I have here okay so I think I'm gonna start out by showing you um, the wood that I got I'm pretty sure every piece that I got is grapevine although I'm not certain of it I did get it from one of my local fish stores they just kind of had a box of wood and it does all look like grapevine to me except I don't know this piece looks a little different so I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it's mostly grapevine at least but here is this piece of wood I got. It's a fairly decent size. I'd say it's probably just about a foot long and a few inches thick, but I think that this piece is really cool. It has some like neat shapes to it with like you know, all these little pieces sticking out. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was a really nice piece of wood. I feel like that's what I'm going to be saying throughout this whole video because what really can you say about wood? It's just, it's a nice piece of wood. And then we have this piece here. So this piece is definitely grapevine. I've seen enough grapevine in my lifetime to know that this is definitely grapevine and there's a hair on it, ew. Um, this is also another neat piece. It has like this neat little like twist at the base of it and then up at the top here it kind of branches off but I mean you could kind of put it sideways or you could also like make it tall and have a nice tall piece of wood but this piece I just thought was really cool one thing that I don't like when it comes to buying pieces of wood is when you can tell that they were like sawed at different spots so like you can see it here I mean obviously I don't really mind when it's something this small but I absolutely hate it when there's just a big obvious saw mark in the piece of wood because then I think it just takes away from like the whole natural decor. I really like it when it's more of just a broken end because I think then it looks a lot more natural. Like I said, I don't really mind if it's just a tiny piece like that, but I like refuse to buy pieces of wood that just have like a big saw mark in them. I don't like that at all personally. And then here we just have another small piece of grapevine. This piece is not very big, but I thought that it would be sort of a nice accent piece. A lot of the wood that I got today were smaller pieces as opposed to larger pieces because I am looking to use them more as like accents to cage decor rather than like main pieces if that makes any sense. I think having like smaller pieces kind of scattered in your cage also helps to add to a whole like naturalistic look. So mostly got small pieces. I'm starting off with the bigger pieces so as I show you more they'll probably just get smaller and smaller but those first two that I showed you were really the only big pieces and the rest are like around this size or smaller. But again, this is just a piece that I liked because it is more of just a natural broken look. There's no like obvious saw marks anywhere. It just looks like a naturally broken branch, which is what I like. And here we have another piece. So this kind of looks like the first piece that I showed where it doesn't entirely look like grapevine, but I think it still is grapevine. It just looks a little different. And this is just a pretty simple piece. It's, you know, nothing really special, just a straight little branch. But again, there's no obvious saw marks on it, which is, you know, what I like. And it also kind of has like a little hole in it there, which I thought is fun. <laughs> I think that this will make a nice little naturalistic, um, like accent to a cage as well. It's about a foot long, but it's a very thin piece, so it's not overly large, but I really like this piece. And then we have this piece of grapevine here. So again, it's just about a foot long, but this one has some more like twists and stuff to it as opposed to the last one that I showed, which was more straight. So this is a nice little curvy piece of wood. I think that this will look, again, really nice in some cages. And then we have this piece here, another fairly thin piece, with some nice shape to it. It does have some 
curves to it going in all different ways so this would be a really cool piece you could kind of like do a lot with it you could like lay it down flat or you can also kind of stand it upright or like lean it on things so I, th I think that this will be a really awesome piece to play around with because I think that you could use this in a lot of different ways which I think will be really fun to mess around with and here we have a fairly tiny piece as you can see it fits in my hand pretty easily it's pretty small but um this is just another nice little simple piece that I thought would make a good accent um, it's fairly straight but it does have a few like branches and bumps and stuff to it so this will make a nice little accent piece so I really like this one and then we have this thin little piece right here now I like this one because it kind of just looks like a fallen twig since it's so thin so I think that this will really look like natural decor because this does look like something that you would just find that had like fallen off of a tree you know just a little twig so I think that this will make a cool addition to whatever enclosure I end up putting it in and then lastly we have this other little tiny piece of wood which is just sort of like another little twig so I like having different pieces of wood like in all different sizes because I really just think it adds to like the naturalistic style of the cage if all of your wood is just big pieces I mean if that's your thing like go for it I think that can still look really good but it doesn't really resemble nature as much as I personally like it to because you know if you're just out in the woods you're going to find like twigs and branches of all different shapes and sizes so I really like having tiny pieces like this as well as I really like having big pieces that can make a nice centerpiece to a terrarium so now all the wood is done so I'm going to move on to the plants that I got now I do want to make a little Little disclaimer so I did buy some succulents because I am planning on setting up a sort of desert style um, terrarium in the near future although I am still in the process of researching succulents that are safe with the reptiles I plan on setting this cage up for so I did just buy succulents today and I'm not entirely sure if all of them are reptile safe I'm doing research on that obviously none of them will be going into the cage until I know they're safe but basically any succulents that I got if they don't turn out to be safe that's fine with me because I'll just use them as like decorations around my house and stuff like I don't mind having little like plants and stuff so I got them regardless if they're safe or not and I'm going to be doing more research in the future on like you know which succulents are safe because I'm still kind of learning about succulents I I think I know a fair bit now about which like tropical plants are safe for the reptiles and stuff but I don't know much about succulents so that's a future project but I'll just show you all the ones that I got for now see none of these were actually like labeled with the name they all just say succulent on them so I have to do some more research so I can't even really tell you the name of them yet but I'll just show you what I got so there's this little succulent here who I think is really cute it's a really light green color and I just really like the way that it kind of resembles a flower so there's that one there and then here's this one here and I actually did get two of them so I have two of these plants but I think that these ones are like absolutely adorable they have these like thick little leaves and I think that's so cute with like the white markings on them I really like this so I really hope that these ones do turn out to be reptile safe because I think that they would look super adorable in the terrarium I'm going to be setting up I think they're really cute so I really like these plants I mean if they don't turn out to be reptile safe then I won't be mad about it either because that means I can like keep them in my bedroom for myself to enjoy but there's those two and then we have this one here so I found this one really pretty it almost looks like roses they have like neat little like petal they look like rose petals which I think is super pretty so I really liked this plant I think that this would look cute in a terrarium again if it is reptile safe I think it would look really nice so there's this one here which I think is super cute and then there's this succulent here which I just found kind of like interesting the leaves are like interesting shapes and they have these like ruffles on them that they almost look like ravioli so I thought that this one was really interesting so I don't know this was just an interesting one to me and then I got this one because it has a beautiful purple color but I unfortunately kind of broke it while I was driving home as you can see so now this is all that remains which is really sad but hopefully it does okay hopefully it still lives even though it's broken and maybe it'll grow back but this is this one I really like the purple color of it okay so next I'm going to show you all of the rock that I got so this piece here I don't 
know what the actual name of it is. It was sold as Scenery Stone, but I don't know if that's like its real name or if that's just a name that the store gave it, but I like it. I think it kind of looks like, you know, like the Grand Canyon, you know, it looks deserty and stuff. So this is a fairly large piece here. I mean, it's not that big, but it's really heavy. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this down now because it's heavy. And then I got some smaller pieces of the scenery stone. So these are a lot lighter, so it's a lot easier for me to hold. This piece had a really cool shape to it. It's kind of like flat on the back and then it's like, I don't know, has like different levels and stuff throughout it. So I thought that this was a really neat piece. So I picked up this one and then I picked up this piece as well. So it does kind of have a flat surface here, but then it almost has like little steps there, which I think is cute. It'd be probably a little cool rock to explore over and I could like do stuff with it like have another rock up top here or have some wood and everything so there's that one and then this is the last piece of that uh, scenery stone that I got so here's what this piece looks like I don't entirely know how I'll end up using this one probably just like that like that'll probably be the base and then that's what it looks like so there's that piece and now let's move on to the next rock so next up I got some black slate rock so this rock is really cool to work with it's easy to make like hides out of it and stuff and things to climb on this piece I really liked because it's almost like it would fit really well in the corner obviously it's not like a perfect 90 degree angle as you can see but I mean if you were to put some like stuff behind it and like on top of it and under it I think it would make a really cool corner piece it has this like rounded front which is really neat so I think that this would make a really cool piece to put in the corner and use as like a hide like if you have something on either side holding it up and then they can go under it as well as like climb on top of it so this is a really cool piece that I really liked and I'm happy I found and then here I just got this larger piece of black slate so this is a fairly large piece the enclosure that I plan on setting up isn't overly big so this will take up a fair bit of room so I'm excited about that it'll create a nice little level I mean I plan on having this kind of as a climbing surface with things under it so they can go underneath of it as well so I think that this will be a really neat piece so I'm excited to have it it does have sort of a flat edge over here so this would be a good side to like put up against the wall so this is a really fun piece also and then I found this piece so this piece again has a really flat edge on the top here so this would also be good if I wanted to put it right up against the glass and then I think it would just be you know a fun piece so this piece is a fair bit smaller but as I mentioned with the wood I always like having like big pieces and small pieces because I think it helps add to like a naturalistic look and here we have a small rectangular shaped piece of slate so this is just you know a rectangular piece of slate and then here I have this piece this piece is actually pretty thin so what I'm thinking I might do with this piece is I might actually break it you can do it pretty easily just like set it on the ground probably outside and then take like a hammer to it and it'll shatter into a bunch of pieces because then if I have a bunch of like little tiny pieces it's nice to use as accents so I might end up breaking this piece to make a couple smaller pieces but We'll see. This is what the piece looks like so far. Again, this one also has a pretty straight edge on the back, so if I didn't break it and I wanted to put it up against the glass, I could easily do that. And lastly, just another small piece. This one is fairly similar to the last one, so I'm sure I'll end up breaking at least one of those two because they are really similar pieces. Like, like I don't know, they're not that different in shape. <laughs> they're both kind of like wider on one end and kind of come to a point. This one's more pointier than this one. But either way, I'll probably end up breaking at least one of them but we'll see I think the slate is a really cool rock to have in terrariums just because you can do so many things with it from making like different levels and building hides and like making basking platforms and everything so I'm excited to use this so that was essentially the haul complete here you can see a nice little look at everything I showed you so you have all of the wood and the slate rock and the other rock and all of the plants and I mean even though this is just thrown on my bed right now I think it looks pretty cool so you can only imagine how cool it will look when this is all set up in a terrarium I think that'll be absolutely awesome so make sure that you guys stick around if you want to see what I end up doing with all of this because I've not told you what I'm doing with it you guys like I'm it's obviously going in a terrarium but you guys don't know much so if you guys want to stick around and see how I build all of this into a new terrarium make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. 
I would absolutely love that. Also, be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. It will all be in the description below, but I would love it if you went and checked all of that out. All of that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video, and hopefully I will see you soon when I'm setting up this enclosure.